to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to uh, revise our analysis on gold and silver. We are going to add on to our analysis on gold and silver and we'll see where things are headed on long term and short term. There are two major uh, point of views as far as Elliott Wave labeling is concerned. I'm going to present both of them over here. We'll discuss first one, the bullish one, and the other one, bearish one. Most of the people are right now bullish on gold. My studies on an uh, Elliott Gold about uh, using Elliott Wave analysis and uh, using WD GAN analysis are indicating that gold and silver are strongly bearish for 2023. So we'll discuss both bullish and um, bearish trends and uh, just. Uh, Let's start. We can turn the mm, all the labeling off right over here. So chart is in front of you. There are two major concerns right now. Actually, one of the major concerns. Most of the analyticians are now right now thinking that the correction that ended right over here, and this is an impulse correction, another impulse and correction ended right over here. We have seen a smaller degree impulse wave. A correction is is going on. It's going to probably complete somewhere around 1790. Uh, 1800 1750-ish area and then the price will shoot on my analysis this is one analysis and uh, let's go back on uh, weekly and uh, sorry daily analysis to see what people are thinking right now and uh, come on go on right there okay we can go on an hourly time frame there it is. So if you're looking at it, is right now giving us um, people are considering it as a five three five structure for W uh, and X was expected right over here, and then after X is completed, we are expecting another zigzag right over here, probably completing in this region. Uh, my analysis is giving me indication that this is not the case. We are going to see. Uh, we have seen prices come down we are going to see jump up in prices come down another jump up and the prices will go down right from over here so this is uh, th first the bullish case is there and right now i'm going to bring the diagrams back and i'm going to discuss an important uh, an important indicator that wd gan developed himself using he he observed the data and he developed some of the uh, mm, indicators that he did and we are going to use them one of them is very important it's called weekly uh, square of 52 and it's used on a weekly time frame analysis so let's first of all have a look what's happening uh, as per my analysis so I believe right over here that we have completed the correction that was going on uh, right from the bottom right over here and uh, I have uh, reasons uh, for that belief I believe that that's completed we are seeing a 5 wave structure a correction is expected another pri price will come down right over here another correction and come down right over here larger picture that you guys are seeing right now I can show you the larger picture on a weekly time frame I'm thinking that the correction did not complete right over here and my point of view is that this is a this is B three structure three structure and then five structure so three stuck three wave structure three wave structure and a five wave structure I'm considering it as an ending diagonal on a weekly time frame and as per Elliott rules of ending diagonals one of the waves can actually form a double zigzag and that's what I believe that right now we are going through is a double zigzag I believe we have completed wave 1 and 2 right now we are going through wave 3 we have completed wave uh, uh, first p first leg of uh, 3 right over here or W is completed right over here uh, in a case you guys can see A B and C so W is completed we have completed X and I'm expecting that we are right now going through Y right over here as soon as Y is completed whether over here or over here and we are going to see a nice bounce right over here in wave 4 and then prices are expected to come down in wave 5 which will be surprising for a lot of people even this wave uh, the remaining wave is going to be surprise for a lot of people let's have a look on a uh, uh, daily time frame after I mean let me zoom in and uh, after that we'll discuss uh, some of the analysis on weekly time frame uh, using square of 52 hourly time frame let's see if you can see the waves clearly okay there are a couple of possibilities right now over here and be really careful for the next week in trading gold and silver and the reason is because uh, I was expecting even though you are seeing right over here I was kind of expecting that this is wave 3 right over here this is wave 3 uh, that is wave 4 right over here and I was expecting that wave 5 is complete right over here so we are to see a correctional pattern I was expecting a deeper correction pattern somewhere over right over here and there's still possibility 
So I'm still looking it as a wave A right over here, wave A ended right over here with wave C showing truncation, all right? So, and or you can say that wave A ended right over here, this is an A, a B, and a C is going on, but I think the wave A ended right over here. Right now we are going through a A, B, C structure, a 5, 3, 5 structure right now, I think we are going on. As soon as the structure is complete, I'm expecting there is a possibility, w one of the possibilities that we'll see sharper movement upward to complete a pattern that actually started from over here. That will give us wave A right over here, wave B right over here, and wave C right over here. I'm going to quickly label it and then we'll move on to our alternate count. So this is the start of the pattern uh, and I'm considering this as wave A and this as wave B. Uh, as soon as wave B is complete, I'm expecting that a sharper move upward is expected. It can actually stop over here or it can push a little further down, uh, stopping somewhere over here. So a volatile move is one of the possibilities that we are looking in gold. It won't be um, a surprise if we see a sharper move upward. A uh, study from our analysis of Elliott wave analysis and that wave C could actually be a sharper, stronger move upward completing because it's a five wave structure. So there's one possibility. The second possibility is that the labeling that I've given on a 5 wave structure is wrong. In that case, we are considering, let me delete first this one and then we'll come back. So in that case, the second possibility is that the labeling could potentially be wrong, which would mean that wave 3 actually ended right over here, wave 4 ended right over here. In that case, right now we are going through wave 5. As soon as wave 5 is complete, since you guys can see, prices have been pushing down. In that case, we can see a correction forming, um, and that correction actually could end up being in the wave 4 uh, of a previous degree. So in that case we would be expecting a fraction right over here completing and in that case we will head down further. So that will be completing a 5 wave structure. Both possibilities exist therefore I would actually wait for uh, next couple of days to co see the completion of the structure. What I'm not expecting, I can tell you what I'm not expecting is that I'm not expecting uh, for gold to drop all of a sudden right over here. So I believe that the uh, the sharper move downward is not going to happen, at least for now. I believe that the correction actually, either case, either the correction pattern started from over here and then we're going to get a nice pullback in a form of sharper, sharper wave upward or the correction is going to, uh, or the five wave structure that actually started all the way all the way over here from the top is going to complete and then we are going to see some sort of correction. As soon as that structure is complete, we'll get another trading setup on the bearish side. So I'm still bearish on gold, nothing has changed that is regarding that. Now one of the tools that I already told you guys, uh, WDGAN square of 52, uh, different people use it differently, uh, give me a moment, different people use it differently. The way I use it, I normally calculate it uh, in terms of how many weeks have gone by. Okay, so we can use that um, on a different, uh, give me a moment, where is our auto thing right over here. Okay. Now we can use in a separate chart because I don't want to mess that chart on. I'm going to try to uh, use that. Um, okay, this is uh, some more study. Let's see if we can see on uh, XAU. This is Euro. This is uh, US dollars. Okay. Let's see what's this study I was doing about. Okay. Let's get back to monthly time frame. And then we'll, do, we'll definitely do the 50 square of 52 right over here. Okay, so some of you guys want to see, uh, want to look at this, why not go ahead get some guidelines, I mean these start different trend lines that I was uh, playing with to get a feel of where exactly the, the prices could potentially be, uh, be going. Uh, for example, right from s uh, the parabolic move that we have seen, we have seen that the prices kind of uh, gave, uh, it broke quite a few of horizontal lines, right? Um, not horizontal line, the trend lines. These are parallel channel. I was trying to watch for uh, some under level energy that's going into the market and that's how I normally look at the market. So this is what I was going on just by mm, seeing if there is a possibility that we can see. Uh, one of the very interesting line was this one. We can see that prices went up and drop sharply. So that was very interesting as well. A and another uh, was so uh, this one, uh, this top that we have seen. So you can just experiment with it and it will give you a feel of where the, where the market is headed. Uh, once you play with it, you'll start getting a feeling of where the bears and bulls are and you'll see there's a very strong possibility that we are seeing uh, the double top right over here and the double top with this one right over here as well. 
so smaller on a smaller time frame we are seeing the double top on a larger time frame we are seeing the double top and this is pretty uh, a big warning on itself you can also see that when prices came back right over here we are kind of hovering around the midline as well right over here as well so let's delete all of that and um, let's see if you can actually get somewhere from over here I wanted to uh, draw WD can angled on weekly time frame we have some data with us and I'm going to show you that data um, it, data is already visible to you it's just you're not uh, sure how to use that data so I'm gonna try to bring that data with the, uh, uh, to your attention and then we'll try to play with it and see how the square of 52 and WD GAN angles on weekly time frame could possibly be giving us very nice indication that we are headed on the bearish side okay once again uh, look at this analysis with open uh, with open mind you have to let your mind uh, you have to let your mind a little bit go in a direction where you haven't gone before so that you can actually see some more studies so you can see that there is a possibility of WD can angle is working and actually giving an indication of where the uh, the trend of the market is headed now I have not uh, sign of the a word of warning is that I haven't played with the WD and angles on a weekly time frame so it's gonna be a little time consuming um, if you want to stick with me with the process about the process of how I'm gonna implement it you're welcome otherwise it's gonna be just a bit of boring so just a word of caution in that regard so in one of the videos which I actually uh, posted earlier uh, I'm pretty sure some of you at least would have remembered that we actually noted a very interesting thing uh, using a weekly time frame and that was that if we count the number of weeks from this top right over here to the top right over here that we have seen right over here and this uh, mind you that this is a bearish bearish candle so we can go uh, just one week behind so we can see 46 uh, bars in there now square of 52 is uh, can basically s said that uh, we have 52 weeks in a year so you can divide uh, 52 in equal parts in eight equal parts to see one by eight two by eight three by eight half and so on uh, and then you will see that often the uh, the trend would change in in when prices uh, when time has run out in a one of those um, energy points and the second thing is you can also implement the square of 52 on a uh, on the price side as well for example 52 plus 52 it will give you two years of uh, 52 square of 52 in terms of price all right so 104 dollar uh, 208 dollars uh, 416 dollars these are different multiples are all of 52 dollars so we need to keep uh, keep that in mind for now we are seeing one thing and that is we do we, we are aware of it that WD can made uh, separate studies for price and time it means that we need to study them separately as well so here right now uh, as you guys are aware of it that 45 degree angle is very important in terms of WD GAN studies and I think that that's what exactly went on in this case as well from the top right over here we have seen that 45 degree angle is right over here in terms of time and we have seen that prices actually when reached over here it reverts so we can say that the 45 degree angle for price ended right over here and we can say that 45 degree angle for the time ended over here on a weekly time frame understand that WD GAN was using a separate analysis for every uh, time frame for every hourly time frame he had a separate uh, analysis strategies for daily time frame he has separate strategies uh, for weekly time frame for monthly time frame for he has separate tools built on for every single time frame and you can uh, understand how why he was so accurate okay he was studying every single thing that possibly could be we all we see is just data going up and down but there's a lot on the chart that's going on so we can uh, we can definitely look at the price right over here we have seen a, um, a resistance coming right over here and we can see that we have seen support coming right over here in terms of time all right so we can delete this right now and we can say that okay uh, this time right over here was important okay in this case that we can actually see that we can draw WD and angles starting from this top right over here and we can say that the 45 degree angle ended right over here this is the box that we are getting right over here for time and price and when we let it go we see some interesting s behavior okay I'm gonna zoom in uh, zoom uh, in, in in a bit and we are gonna see some interesting behavior uh, we can actually let's see 
we can delete this line right now we don't need it actually we would be needing it actually okay now another thing that we can do is that uh, in terms of horizontal studies let's see if we can actually extend our time frame right from the top right over here we can actually divide the the time itself going on from the top right over here uh, we can divide it into two sections and see if we can see some interesting behavior we can see that we have seen this top coming uh, right at one half of the 45 degree angle in terms of time so this top is very interesting and the next top is very interesting as too so we can uh, it gives you a little clues into the into the studies of what's actually happening so this top exactly is uh, right now uh, it's also a support point and this is also a support point giving you all interesting ideas let's see if you can actually divide that into uh, four equal parts and reveal some more um, energy points under okay Mm, you just need to go okay All right over here is fine so we need to see that this line is should be a little back a bit because the the line this one is a little forward so keep that in mind in that case this is also coming at energy point this line is also coming at energy point so let's see if we can actually convert this data to daily time frame and remember that we are not looking for the actual day we are looking for the approximation so a three day time frame would be a good one to look at it but right now you want to divide the time into four equal parts uh, so that we can actually get a better feel of the what's actually happening so here is another one right over here so we can see that the, once again we are showing one half of it and three by four this is also visible right now okay so three by four if three by four is visible could uh, we would say 6 by 8 would be also visible alright so let's see if we can actually divide that into 8 equal parts uh, once again as I said it's going to be pretty uh, boring behavior um, a boring analysis so right now that we can see that we have not only seen 6 by 8 we have also seen 5 by 8 as well okay and in the all terms we can actually increase keep increasing in the uh, divisions we can do 16 divisions we can actually do 9 divisions as well so anyway I'm gonna let the time study go you might wanna play with it and you'll get some idea an important thing that we have seen right now and it's very interesting here is that this angle is coming in really handy okay you can see that price is almost hit it and then reversed so this is also interesting once all th well, another thing interesting is that prices came back right over here they kind of roll around this line over here and then this one as well right over here so it's also interesting behavior that we are seeing I wanted to see whether we are seeing some sort of behavior coming right over here now this angle is the blue one is very important we are right now around this area so there's a possibility that we can actually go and hit the angle in the center of this one and this one right over here <coughs> uh, so one by four and one by two so we can actually go in the center of both of them uh, and see there is if by uh, we are just gonna see uh, 3 by 1 which is right over here so which is already right over here so we can further subdivide these two angles to see some energy points coming as well so this is an interesting point you want to uh, keep these angles in front of you they'll give you a feel of it as you guys can see that right from the top we have actually crossed this one and we are right now riding along this one if prices actually can easily go through it the next angle would be the in the between the center of this angle and this angle so we need to draw that as well so uh, and you know you might want to take some time and experiment with it play with it uh, I just wanted to focus uh, let's delete these angles and let's see if you actually can do some more and this is called we can see that okay we have now this is the equal divisions of price so are you surprised to see what I'm seeing right now and once again as I'm telling you guys I haven't seen I haven't done this analysis I'm doing it in front of you first in hand okay so we have two very uh, clear points three very clear points in front of us first of all as we extended the move right over here to we, ca we said that okay there's a possibility of this becoming a resistance point in terms of price on a weekly time frame we can see that prices went on and confirmed this point right over here this point is also confirming it that is a valid point right over here 
another thing that has happened is we can see that right over here at 75 percent of the previous move we have found a support right over here not only that we can actually zoom in into on an hourly time frame and we can see some energy points coming as well on a recent price action this one right over here so who would have seen that these price all points are connected so in that case there's a possibility that we can uh, gonna see price come down right over here and a sharper move is gonna go come up stay this one right over here so all of these studies are uh, giving an indication of different energy point in terms of price and time this is just one part that I've showed you guys of WD can studies on square of 52 a lot of people can actually draw square of 52 on on the chart um, but I, st I personally see that uh, using these values separately on time and price are, is more valuable valuable than simply by drawing uh, the tool on the chart maybe for that we have to square the chart or something something like that but I wanted to bring it to your attention some interesting that I have things that I've noted on on the chart I hope that you will, uh, will be able to um, get some um, more information on your own studies now silver is is very interesting okay uh, this is silver GBP let's have a look at silver USD okay silver is even more uh, let's see that we have completed a five structure right over okay let's go back on a daily time frame and give you an idea so this is what I'm looking at in terms of longer time frame uh, let's go back on a weekly time frame just so that if some of you guys haven't seen my analysis before this is what I'm looking at it in terms of weekly time frame I'm considering this whole price movement right from the top and bottom right over here as a 5 f structure and I'm looking at that in this case wave B was sharper and it was quicker and stronger right over here and then we are right now going through an ending diagonal and I believe that this ending diagonal is going to complete a double bottom right over here this zone being very important right over here so we're gonna see I believe that prices are not going to penetrate this zone so this is what I'm expecting right now that we are going through a 5 3 5 structure in silver and whenever that is complete we are going to go upward that means that we are bearish on silver right now at this point everybody was yelling that silver is going to go through sky once again from the last 10,000th time they have been saying so and every time I'm bearish on silver and I just keep have to um, things from people right but this is public you know you you want to believe something and you say okay this is how things should behave but guess what all the world investors are not listening to you they have their own opinion and they're not, not gonna listen to you so here is the chart in front of us let's go back on a daily time frame and see how we can actually zoom in into wave C right over here I believe that we have completed wave 1 of ending diagonal wave 2 of ending diagonal is complete once again we are completing a W X and a Y so a double zigzag in wave 3 is expected and then we'll see a, sh a move correction wave 4 and the prices are to expect to come down from a double bottom with the previous structure right over here as well right now we have completed wave uh, W as well you can see a 5 3 5 structure an ABC structure correction is complete right now I'm expecting another similar structure that we have seen right over here I'm expecting a 535 five structure prices are expected to come a little create a new low somewhere around 16 ish dollar uh, right over here so this is a probable uh, reasonable point we are expecting for the prices to be we need to dig a little deeper zoom in a little deeper on hourly time frame because retail traders want absolutely sure they get every piece of the action so let's have a look here right over here so when you're looking at the price action you can see that this price action is definitely different from the one that we're right, seeing right over here the reason is and the reason is the price structure is um, the price pattern that we are seeing is different that's what I'm believing right now I'm considering that we have completed a 5 wave structure right from the top over here right over here and this is going to be some sort of correction let's say that my analysis is wrong in that case um, okay first of all one by one let's get it get things slowly a bit so once again we are seeing the start of the structure right over here uh, it's up to you can you can definitely call it wave 1 and wave 2 and you can say this is wave 3 right over here and this is wave 4 and you can say this is wave 5 because the reversal is going to be very strong right over. the second possibility is that you can say no 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 I want to say I can look at the, in the data and I can see that this is wave 4 right over here and I can see that this part is wave 3 
and I can see that stronger wave that we have seen is wave 1 and this case is wave 2 by doing so we can say that wave 2 and wave 4 are proportionate to in, in terms of time and in terms of price as well so if you want to go with it cool with me either way I think that we have completed the structure that actually started right from top over here it is, it is a five wave structure and I'm right now I'm going to do an alternate count as well so stay with me so there's a possibility right now I'm and this is what I'm, I'm more concerned about that next week is going to be a little different for a lot of people I'm considering that we're going to see this, this as wave A and this as wave B and this is going to be wave C so a sharper move is expected now let's have a look and increase uh, the chart and see what we are seeing right now it's very absolutely necessary and I think that we have completed wave A right over here this is wave A is completed and we are going through A, B and a C so this three wave structure is complete and this three wave structure is still going on this being a smaller A, a smaller B and a smaller C is going on we have seen wave 1 and 2 we are three in 3 and 4 is probably going to complete and prices are going to come down a little more because normally wave 1 and wave 5 we can say there were they can possibly um, be equal in terms of uh, in, in terms of size okay so we can definitely see that this price length can be equivalent to this one once we have seen a correctional pattern and that's where we should actually be putting wave B right over here once wave B is complete I'm expecting there is a good possibility I would not be surprised if we can actually see two three days of a strong bullish price action and prices go all the way right over here the second possibility is that this ABC can be really really dangerous and in that case we can actually see a sharper move even go further down this could be a possibility this is not beyond uh, a possibility okay we can see that wave C because they, we have seen a lot of strength in wave B and there is a possibility that we can actually see uh, the amount of wave B went beyond the start of wave A we can add that on top of wave A and we can find a target either the price is going to complete right over here or if the price is passed through we can use that as a target okay so this is one of the possibility the second possibility is is that the alternating count is is that l my analysis of this is wrong and the actual five waves com completed um, is going to complete somewhere over here on whatever the pattern is I don't want to look at the smaller time frame it's too ugly at this moment if we if we have to assume that this is um, if we have to if you're looking at it that this is wave 5 this hole is wave 5 in that case we need to bring this to wave 1 right over here and we can say that this is wave 2 in that case we can say that this hole is wave 3 right over here and this is wave 4 right over here so it gets pretty ugly as you guys can say the shape of the pattern looks very ugly in that case still we are looking for a collectional pattern that should actually keep the prices in wave 4 which is this structure right over here so in either case I'm expecting that a pullback is expected in either case and after the pullback we will be see a complete structure of the pullback and then we can actually face it down so next few days are going to be very surprising and I'm bending more towards this one but I cannot the problem is that not every single price movement can be traded this one definitely cannot be traded at least uh, as by own my own uh, and technical use of the case I hope that I was able to provide some uh, assistance in, in understanding the market um, markets are very dangerous and volatile you do not want to put the money on risk which you do not um, which you cannot actually uh, survive without so right so you need to understand that trading is very risky and once again once you do decide to trade please use strong money management skills and make your own analysis wish you good luck with your studies please definitely play with square of uh, 52 if you are an WD GAN analysis and if you are an Elliott wave analysis uh, you definitely want to use WD GAN analysis square of 52 on weekly time frame analysis once again have a good one and bye bye